Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And today I'm back at the home place back in Trenton, Georgia. And I've got a lens to review. It's the Hanamex Automatic uh, 28 millimeter F2.8. Let's get into this. To go ahead and get some of the simpler things out of the way, it has an incredible hyperfocal distance scale. That's F22 on one side and F22 on the other. So if you set the aperture, f22 and you set the infinity marker there literally everything from a little over two feet to infinity is in focus now of course indoors that ain't possible so you know if you shoot at f28 you see it makes it much smaller and of course if you got distance on your side you can almost get it says about 15 feet to infinity is in focus at f28 so, you know, if you're shooting across the street, you could set it and forget it. It's got a really nice aperture system in it. It has slightly rounded six bladed aperture. Of course, this is the auto manual switch for the cameras that it used to fit where you could set some functionality in the camera. But it's got a really nice aperture ring. It's got nice clicks. They're pronounced. They stop well. I really like this focus band gives you a tactile feel that's different from this has a nice little kind of silver contour to it it's really nice and it is m42 mounted so we're going to get it on the sl2 and go take some pictures with it let's see what we can come up with with this lens first stop lookout creek technically first stop would be the mall we went there last night and I took the, lim the lens camera combination with me to the mall to capture the spirit of Christmas. You might call it that. I was just wanting to get photos of the mall because I look back and see people that took photos of the mall when I was a teenager. And I look at the difference now and it's, you know, it's real dramatic in my mind because I remember then and I remember now, like back then, I remember record stores and cassette tape stores and you know, and all of that, and all that's gone now. And there was a cigar shop in the mall when it opened. It was, and it was a store there for a long time called the Tinderbox. And it's gone now. And, you know, I just look back and think, man, I should have got photos of that back then. So I got photos last night. And I got them of the Christmas season. I got Santa Claus. I got all that kind of stuff. And so today, what I've done is I've come down here to Lookout Creek and there's a an old like gristmill place all of that's gone now all that's left is the dam and the foundation for the mill and the water wheel and the water's down a lot like way down due to our recent drought we have we have very low water conditions that i have i have never seen this creek this low so I'm gonna get some photos of the of the dam and the mill while the water's down because it's an, a rare opportunity, and I'm gonna use the Hanamex 28 millimeter to do that. So come on, let's go. I'll be honest with you, I've never I've never been able to stand where I'm standing right now and not be in water. Like this is incredible when you see how much of the shoreline is exposed and how low the water is. It's like this should be three feet deep, not six inches. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's surprisingly low, but we'll get some photos just to show you. Something I've noticed right away with this lens is that it's got some kind of a, I would call it flare, for lack of a better term. The lens turns kind of white when it's pointing toward the sun. Today, for the first time in the history of ever, I'm doing a lens review on a sunny day and not an overcast day. Almost exclusively my lens reviews seem to happen on overcast days. Today, I got lucky, I got, I've got direct sun. And I shaded the lens, and by just putting the shade over the front element, the image turned out beautiful. 
but the moment I let that sun hit it, it turns white, as you can see in the pictures that I've been showing here. So that's something to, put, to notice. So if you're shooting in shaded areas, it'll produce wonderful results. But direct sun, you need a sunshade of some kind. This is where the old mill house was. And of course, you see the dam where they backed up the stream to build up the water level for where the water will used to be. And it's no longer there, of course. Hadn't been there for ages. There's a hawk. Hear him up there screaming. There he goes, right through there. Of course, y'all ain't gonna ever see him because he's a little tiny speck to me. <laughs> anyway. Well. What are the odds that I can make this crossing and get over onto the dam itself? I would like to get out there and get a photo. Let's see if I can make this happen without ruining my expensive camera. Oh yeah, there's a staircase here in it, essentially. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Now, here we go. But yeah, I have never seen it to where there wasn't water running over this entire surface. I have never been able to do this. <laughs> this is interesting. And the fact that it's down so much that it's to here like that is incredible. That's what it looks like at normal times all the way across. Look, that's the boat launch. It's a foot out of the water. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get this photo. This is it's a pretty good angle. Yeah. Now that I've got a couple of shots of that, we'll look around and see what else we can get to photograph. Try not to fall in. Let's see here. It's all this water everywhere. The lens has some artifacting. It has a little bit of vignetting in the corners. I noticed that I'm shooting it without any kind of lens adapter, or even so much as even a UV filter, nothing on the front of this lens. And I'm still getting slight vignetting wide open. It's a vintage lens and it's going to have some character. That's all it is, is character. So don't let it get you back. The lens is very economical and produces really interesting photos. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, will it replace my Asahi optical? That's debatable. It is two thirds of a stop faster, which is kind of nice to have. So there's that, but it is also a lot bigger. So I don't know yet which one I've decided on there, but as of right now, I like this little lens and I'll probably use it from time to time. It's, it's turned out to be a little, a little bit of a winner. And from what I've seen from others, the Hanamex name has garnered a sort of a cult following. So if you can find one, grab it and have some fun with it. And it'll sell for about what you pay for it. So, you know, it's no harm, no foul. Get it, use it a little while, put it back on eBay and liquidate it if you don't like it. Simple enough. So thank you for watching. And until next time, this is David, the Georgia photographer. And I'm gonna tell you to get your camera out and go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.